Hey everyone, it's Charlotte from Shars Fashion Nation. And today I have some Curse Cosmetics mail. Now this is only a partial of my order that I did. Um, I'm not mad at that. <laughs> Trust me, I'm glad to have some more. Now, I just ran out of foundation, <laughs> the Koki Cosmetics. And this is the shade that I use for winter. That's why I look pale as shit. <laughs> but if you want to know, Curse Cosmetics has just come out with a foundation concealer, which you can get over on the site, which I will leave linked below with my discount code so that you can save some money. And let's get on with this because there's a little thing with, uh, with how... The packaging is for that. So I'm excited to see what's in here. I have my hide palette out. I have my baddie eyeliners out. I keep them in one of these. Isn't that cute? I keep them in one of these. Um, so yeah, I'm excited. Let's see about ripping this box open. Ooh, easy. That was easy. Um, on one side. <laughs> that was easy on one side. There you go. So. Y'all know I'm going to keep my scissors handy. Because we're oh, usually generally over here. This is the packaging on the inside. I love that. I get it because like this shipped out around. Um, that is such cute paper. Uh, this shipped out just right after St. Patrick's Day. So, what have we got in here? Oh my god, girl. <laughs> There's some kitty. And this is the box. I saw the little goodies. Now, if you know, you know, if you know that I have the, it should be over here. The um one of their lippies already over here. I gotta find it. It's over here somewhere. It is the um one of my favorites. It is, it's one of my favorites. So oh it did fit in there. Oh my gosh. So what is that? What is that? Oh, that is that one. Okay. If you know, I did a giveaway. My friend Doug Paulson, he won. Here's the, here's the here's the inventory for this, and that is Muriel. She is fabulous, and she's pretty. And the Curse Cosmetics business card. There's some info for you. Let me move the box. Like I said, I'm not worried about my information being on there because I covered it. So. Like I was saying, I took out the hide palette because I saw the size of the box. Um, gorgeous palette. There's that word I try not to use, but with this, I love this palette. And I know you all know that I have been using that a lot. And today, I have the Paranormal palette. Brand new. The other one, it showed up after I purchased this one. And I do have some makeup brushes out. I love this palette as well. I just took the plastic off. Comes with the mirror. When I hit pan, this is one of the first shades I hit pan on. And I will let you, I will let you know that. If you haven't looked like way, way back in the way, way back machine, um... <laughs> I was a lot heavier back then um, when I started with Curse Cosmetics, but you know what? This is a cosmetics company that does not um, discriminate about your size, your nationality, whatever else. Um, so it's like I have always, always, what's that? I've always loved this palette and I already have my eyes prepped and I cleaned my brushes 
And you might be like, well, why not swatch? Because that's so close to my skin tone, my actual skin tone, that it's best for me to just put it on the eye. So now another thing that you can do with this, if you are almost about the same skin tone as this, you can take this and use it right there to contour. So this palette has a lot to it. Like I said, if you almost match that, you can definitely contour your face with that. And you see how that made such a slight difference? This side is like bleh. And this side has that bit of contour. Don't dread, even if you look dead. Take it to the jawline. Now, I've noticed a lot of people will contour going way down here. Take it to your jawline. That way your jawline is more present. Let's take it. That way you know that's there. Anyway, so the next thing that we will take out of here, because before I show you the rest of everything that's in here, that's why I did not do this side of my face yet. Um, when you want to go with that, and I'll take this up in a minute, um, go in with the shade next to it, pat that right there. You can do an everyday look out of this palette. You can do like a spice up your life look out of this palette. Um, it does pick up on the brush. This brush is not wet. I have not done my eyebrows. I haven't done my hair yet. <laughs> So there is that, and it's super blendable. That blends really nice. You can go back in with this brush, pick up on that black. Although I do have another brush over here to use for that. And just kind of smoke that a little bit. Woo! We smoked that all right. <laughs> This is why we keep these brushes handy. Like, I know I need to replace my brushes. And uh, that is something I do need to do. So go ahead and take this. Now you know I roll that. Because that did that. Do that. And then if you want to do your eyebrow, just take that. Sweep it across. And you have an eyebrow. Now I do have the batty eyeliner sitting over here. Now as I'm doing this, you might think I'm just going like this, but as I'm doing this, I'm actually circulating the brush. And if you need to, take your foundation brush Sweep that going up. So there's that. And there is a reason why I left this side the way that I left it. Now we have three things here. Um, I have one of the um, lippies over here. I can't find it though. I don't know where it magically disappeared on me, I guess. But it's over there. Anyway, let me get this open. Now, this is one of the glosses. And I'm excited to have this back. Y'all know I'm going to have all of these back. This is Claws. This is one of my favorite glosses. I love the color. Yes, they still smell like fruit. I love that. Like, take that right there. That has some pigment. I will tell you what, when you want a gloss that's pigmented and you want quality, 
some cursed cosmetics. I should probably take that off the back of my hand. I'm gonna save where you at? I'm gonna save this one for last. That's why I'm not showing it to you yet. <laughs> I was so excited. This was supposed to be here on Monday. And I was like, let this be here earlier, please, please. And by the powers that be. Well, goodness, this needs to come out of the packaging. Okay, we'll just see about opening the other side. That's funny. Why are you not coming out? I don't like ripping the packaging. It's a thing. The packaging is so nice, right? That I honestly like, I don't like to damage it. But in this case, because she don't want to move, she wants to stay dead. <laughs> anyway, another Cursed Cosmetics Lippy. Now, I will show you this on this side. Um, this is like a gray color. Let me put my glasses on for a minute so that we could read a few things here. This is uh, the Matlet Potion. Oh, I'm sorry. The red one is uh, Xmas Nightmare. Um, Potion Tombstone. I'll try not to take too long on this. Now, Tombstone is a matte liquid lip, so this will dry down in a moment. Um, I'll show you that on the back of my hand. Swatches don't have to be like a straight freaking line. I'll tell you that. Okay, so the next thing I will go on to, I'm... Is this that's why I did not do this side of my face yet with that except for like the um look at this except for the sun foundation other than that that's why I did not did you take that no these are, these are quality packages because it's hard to open this sucker maybe that's why the mail carrier left this alone maybe they thought they'd be cursed girl you got this packaged good i'm glad so we have this um this is the matte loose powder okay now if you all know you know i have the two loose powders from uh gerard cosmetics and we will carefully open this this should be in my shade. Oh, it has a little powder puff. Yes, I love that. That way you don't have to buy one separate. So I do love that. I know I still look funny. Look at the thing loose. Um, the little strip. It's not a stripper. It's a strip to hold it closed. So it's like this. That way when you open it, it's not going to fly everywhere. See how it has some of it there from being in transport. Let's tack that to the desk. We're not tacky. We just want to keep that the way it is. So, now this is why I told you this is why I did not contour the side of my face.
and I will tag Curse Cosmetics. They do have a YouTube channel. Now you can blend this down just as you would anything else. I, I think I'm digging this. Like, yes. Now I recommended this to Rich Lux, the Curse Cosmetics. So, oh my God, I love that. Like, girl, this is awesome. Definitely going to use this when I go to Pow Wow this year. <sighs> that is so good. That is my natural, that is my natural skin. Oh yeah, and I'm trying to grow my nails out. Good luck with that. Um, <laughs> so, my recommendation to you, you don't want to use a lot. Now, this one you can turn upside down like that or you can knock it off into the lid. Now, what I did was I got some extra to press. Now, I'm just going to go ahead and do the face because that, that should be done and look correct. <laughs> now, like I said, you can pound some of this off into the lid or tap some of it off into the lid. And the reason that I haven't done this lip is because I want to show you like the last thing in the box because that's not the only thing that I have coming this month you know that came this month from Cursed I do have some more product coming But I did want to show you that you could also use that as a, this right here, as a contour if you did not have this. If, if you didn't have this, that's your other way to go about it. Now, I love this. This blends well. And the other thing that you can do with a lighter shade in here, literally, I know this is like that, right? Take that under your eye. You're going to brighten that eye with it. And then you can literally take the puff. Go there. Go there. Yes, I know that's the cheek. I do know that. Um, and then take that. That's another way to bake that under your eye. Now, on this side of my face, I'm not sure what I want to do, honestly. Um, I think we will go a little on the dark side here. So we're going to pick up this yellow, right? And you might wonder, like, okay, so what the heck are you going to do with that? You are about to find out because there's still some color on there. So that will turn that yellow a slight tinge of green. Just a slight tinge. And then we will go in here. Pick that up, put it just under the brow bone. And now we are going to go in here, but we will use a different brush. Mariel, when are you coming out with brushes, girl? And of course, we'll just go ahead and do the eyebrow. Now, I'm just going to show you how you can do this. Um, you can also take that matte liquid lip and apply it. So, go back to that brush. I mean, I know I have other brushes. They're just really old. And I know I need to replace some brushes. Like, I've had this e.l.f. brush for a while. And 
and I know eventually it does need to be replaced. Now this Koki Cosmetics brush, completely different like look. You have this, and then you have this, in which I did not use an eyeliner yet. Now I keep my eyeliners upside down. You may wonder, how do I know what color is what? Now the moon on this is white that indicates the black, the red, because what I did was I took it and colored that in. Then we have the, what do we got here? We got purple and we have blue. So that's how I know which batty eyeliner, you can go batty over these. Batty eyeliner is which for these? Which one is which? Now you don't have to go all the way with that. That's fine. You just don't have to. I'm trying to make this video as quick as possible because some people don't like a longer video. And sometimes I don't like doing a longer video. But... That's, that's kind of cool. That should go with what I'm about to do on the other side of my lip. And just take that like right there like I just did. Find your lid and put it back on. And you know why these are batty? They hang upside down to keep their beauty. That's right. That batty beautiness. And we'll just go ahead and take the black on this side. I used to be able to do this. I don't know if I still can. And this is how you just basically take that across the eye like that. I know most people would not be able to stay still like that. I have trained myself to do that. Now, the last item that we have, right? She like, y'all, you might just be holding this in suspense. <sighs> I might be, but this is chrome, y'all. This is a chrome lippy. No joke. It is a chrome lippy. These are new. Um, go check them out again. My affiliate link will be down below. That, look at that shit. Now, all of the Curse Cosmetics lippies, you can tell what color they are down here. I don't know if you can see that. Okay. This, this should be interesting. We all smell our makeup. We do. It's some odd thing, but we do. I am super, super excited to try this. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness, you see that shift, right? And that's fully on there. You just saw me. haven't even re-dipped this. Look at that. That is so cool. Oh my god. 
Isn't that cool? The color shift in this. Let me like readjust my lighting. Too bright is too bright for like my natural color. But I'm only doing this because of I want you to see the shift on that. Wow. Anyway, so I'm going to say even I love tombstone. This is great. You know what you could probably do is take the chrome over tombstone and do that. We'll do that in another one. But meanwhile, we have the chrome. Go over there and check these out. These go quick. These these take a while to make. Um, it was six to eight weeks for this, and it's worth the wait. I think this is fabulous. Um, and then I have Xmas Nightmare. This is also one of my favorites. Glad to have it. Um, I am so tombstone. I'm telling you, this stuff. It don't come off. If you want a good matte liquid lip that also does not dry out your eye. Right? I know this is totally different. This is like night and day. <laughs> and um, I just, I love these. Like, I didn't even swatch this next to the other two. Let me do that for you real quick before I end this video because there's that shift. You see that green, the black, the purples? Like, it's just, this is fabulous. I Like, I love that. If I'm going to use the word gorgeous for anything, for a makeup product, I'm going to use it for this. So we have this. We have, we have Xmas Nightmares, we have Tombstone, oh my gosh, we have the powder, love this, it did a wonderful job, I know I didn't finish like blending it out right there, I think this did a wonderful job. If I had to compare it to another one, I would compare this to the Gerard Cosmetics and give it an equal. Y'all are equal. And then, last but not least, wait, I feel like I'm missing something here. Am I missing something? One, two, three. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five. One, Two, three, four, five. Okay, last but not least, the Paranormal Palette. The colors are beautiful. I didn't show you, like, the, the shades on here. I love that one. And I forgot to tell you the shades in the palette. But look at those. I mean, like the orange one. That is very translucent, so you would have to like pick that up. These are fabulous. I'll wipe those off my fingers. That's why I have a makeup wipe. Um, unfortunately, this video is like super long. Um, so we have White Noise, Haunted, Evidence, Echo Box, which I know what an Echo Box is, Paranormal, EVP, Let's say bump, entity, then we have record, portal, oh my god, and night vision. <laughs> Which that really is a good color for night vision because that's the actual color of a night vision lens. So anyway, let me know kindly in the comments below, have you ever tried Curse Cosmetics? And would you consider being that behaven maven? And bring you some beauty and care.
keep the curse going. Um, so curse cosmetics, um, my affiliate link will be down below and, uh, I want everybody out there to stay happy, stay healthy. If you like, look, let me show you something that with the makeup wipe, that's tombstone. That shows you, you're going to have to scrub the makeup wipe. Anyway, stay happy, stay healthy, stay positive, and as always, stay blessed, and I'll see you in the next one. Sorry this video was 30 minutes long, but was it worth it for Curse Cosmetics and another clean wipe? <laughs> yeah, it was. Anyway, I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Remember, stay spoopy.